we have two of my favorite humans, Jenna and Stu Walker, the rec laws on Pure Country. How are you both? Holy moly, we're good. We're great. Honestly, it's been pretty quiet, but we can feel the energy of the summer kicking in. Oh yeah. To happen and just big things. I mean, we're we're stoked. It's it's been a long time coming and festival season is where we thrive. Oh yeah. So yeah. And I feel like you guys got the necessary uh, relaxation in. I know, Stu, I have a lot of jealousy uh, towards you at this very <laughs> moment uh, from your trip that you were just on, but obviously very exciting and so deserving. Uh, congratulations. You're married, honeymooning. You were honeymooning too, Jenna, but um, Stu, how was the trip? Because it looked amazing. It was unlike anything I've ever done. I've never, like, when we go away growing up as, family, as a family and stuff, we kind of just wing it. And like, that's kind of how I was taught to travel for like leisure was just kind of wing it. But my wife set up a amazing travel agent to like, just make sure every day was just like packed with cool things and going to like a random woman in Syracuse, Sicily's kitchen and learning to make pasta and like a sailboat trip and stuff. So I highly recommend it costs a bit of money extra, but a travel agent that actually has been there before is huge, massive. I don't think I'll ever be able to travel the same way now that I've done that. Yeah. I think too, like if you're going to bite the bullet and just like do the whole, you know, Europe trip, then you might as well spend the extra money to do it that way. So you're not missing out on those experiences. Cause I think I would be too overwhelmed to go to Europe and not do it that way. I'd be like, I don't know where to go. (laughs) I know. Yeah. Yeah. You just like every time. Every shop and every cafe looks like it'll be better than the next. You just, you don't know. And like, it could be such a waste of a day to go to like two crappy places. So we're very, very lucky. It was, it was the best trip of my life. I'm absolutely exhausted, but ready to go into the summer. (laughs) Um, Okay. Well, we have very exciting news that we're going to be sharing with everyone. Um, So tonight is the night. Uh, (laughs) I have just learned about this information and I am so freaking excited our two most like incredible canadian country kids are on america's got talent yes it's happening wow. <laughs> what how crazy is that yeah we auditioned for america's got talent and it airs tonight what this is so damn cool um what made you want to take this next step on your career and like cross this off the bucket list and what was the audition process actually like because you guys have done a lot of big crazy exciting nerve-wracking things but what was that like for you yeah that was definitely a um a thing that we wanted to point out and like flag right away it was before we did this like to acknowledge our Canadian fan base and our Canadian family and everything that Canada has done for us and gotten us the level that it's gotten us to allowed us to do this it would I think 10 years ago if Jenna and I were heard about AGT, we would have been like, we're ready, let's do it. But we actually were, I think the most ready we could be to do this. And it's because of our past and our, our fan base and everything else that we have. So that was definitely the first thing we were wanted to get across the, to everyone that we were before we did it. And then a song that we put out two years ago meant a lot to us and it didn't quite have the life and the exposure to people that we were hoping that it would and so we chose to do that song on the show we can't say what song it is but we are just so we, it just felt like the right right time in the right place like the stage the audience the the group of judges that were there it just was the right place right time it felt very much like that uh, I'm so excited I've like already got it I um, was like researching I'm like what time's it on? When am I putting my child to bed? He's going to bed early because mom <laughs> is busy tonight. Okay. <laughs> you know, you gotta get, you gotta get going. We don't even know what it's going to be, to be honest. Like we've not seen anything. Um, all we know is that we auditioned and that we can't tell everyone everything. Right. Which is honestly makes it already so exciting for you guys, but it makes it even more exciting because you're just like, there's this suspense and it almost makes it like you are one of us watching. Exactly. We're going to be watching it at the same time everyone else is watching it. So sorry in advance. I don't know. Like, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. And how cool is it? Because if you are like a music fan, you know that Simon Cowell 
just has such a long standing history of discovering immense talent. So he obviously is the creator of this show, but knowing that you guys were stepping on that stage in front of this man who is just like witnessed so much crazy talent in his life. What was that like? And what was he like? Oh, it was crazy. Like that for sure was the number one reason we were like freaking out because our younger selves, like eight year old Stu, 10 year old Jen were in our family basement watching American Idol and watching Simon Cowell. So to know we were getting on a stage to sing in front of Simon Cowell and to be judged by Simon Cowell, Ooh. I pretty much cracked. You know, I have like to goosebumps, just like nerves for you because my face is getting red. I'm like feeling like I <laughs> you guys on stage in front of me. It was it was crazy. Like before we went on stage, our whole team was looking at us like <laughs> I, this is not helping the situation. Like we know it's a big deal. Yeah. But we kind of, I don't know. It was just, it was a big deal. And it, and I mean, just the opportunity alone, regardless of what happens, it was cool to have this one audition and to be in front of those judges and to meet everyone and to see the way the show works and to see other contestants, like what, I, what it's, a, it's huge. It's the biggest stage in the world. Yeah. So crazy. So season 19 and Sophia Vergara, who I am obsessed with, the fact that you got to be in her presence is so cool. But Heidi Klum and Howie Mandel, who I just feel like is so comforting, is like his presence. Am I right on that? For sure. Like as a fellow Canadian, it, it was really cool. Um, yeah. I mean, all of them to see all of them sitting yeah. there. Yeah. Like, so who are you? I'm like, oh, <laughs> we're freaking out. Yeah. And just to be able to say we're Canadian is pretty cool. So cool. And what was that like? Cause like you guys have gotten on stage before and performed in front of thousands of people, but what is it like walking out there and performing and like one, you're being judged obviously, but two, like it's kind of like the spotlight is just on this one performance. That's a really different situation up there. Definitely. And like, we did feel a little bit like, because we played so many shows we played in front of thousands of people before and it was like it almost it it felt like we were going back in time to like first year rec laws and it was it was like it was like a guinea pig experiment and like you get out there and you fully just have to be the best that you've ever been in order for these people to get like captivated properly so that's that was, I think, the most stressful part of it all was like, we have one song to show that we actually can do this for an hour and a half every night of the week if we have to, but it's, it's, it came down to it. It was, <laughs> the one thing that comforted, comforted us was that everyone backstage, like the whole show, like you said, Simon runs the show, he is the show, but they were like, everyone backstage kept going like, oh yeah, this guy. I'm like, what, what, why do you guys keep whispering? And like, he's in a really good mood. He's in a good mood today. <laughs> like, okay, good. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. It's also um, nice to have like an audience too, you know, like we, we thrive off of an audience. I think yeah. we actually, we find comfort in that. I think if we walked into um, just a judge judging room. Yeah. I, that's different for sure. Yeah. But like, regardless of what happens, it was just really cool. And it was cool to have the crowd there. Did your good buddy, Mr. Drake Milligan give you any like, words of encouragement prior to auditioning because of course he's been through that before yeah he texted us that day and he was like I can only imagine how nervous you are I was the exact same um once you're out there and you realize that these people are just people and they are there to just try to find talent and that's all that they're actually like they're they're not they're not here to ruin your lives or make you terrified to ever do anything like this again it's just a it's a stepping stone yeah and when he said that I was like I feel better like I needed to someone who's done this before who's a friend to be like you're good like yeah. you're good enough you'll be fine <laughs> so awesome and two I think um we've talked about this before if you're not challenging yourself you're not growing and so this is a cool moment where you guys are at in your career you've accomplished so much but you still have so much more to accomplish so to kind of do this at this point I feel like is probably the challenge you both needed and it's regardless going to open up so many opportunities for you guys uh, we, I yeah. mean, we had to say yes. Yeah. It, I, we thought maybe like, maybe it's not a good decision. Like we have a great 
thing going on already and what like why would we why would we put ourselves on the line of like to be judged um but it was like we have you have to this is like once in a lifetime so we had to mm -hmm. um and you'll just have to wait and see <laughs> the night is night okay make sure you guys check out uh season 19 america's got talent with these two lovely humans, the Rec Laws, will be on. We will all be watching. We will all be cheering and supporting um, as we have been and always will because we love you guys so much. Um, and congratulate, like so many congratulations. You guys just won a CMA Ontario Award for Video of the Year. Thank goodness because that video is incredible. Uh, honky talking about with Drake Milligan. And then your amazing song, I Grew Up on a Farm, is I believe sitting in the top 10, just doing this right now. Uh, we hope so. That's so cool. Honestly, we were talking like, how lucky are we to be like, we just got home from vacation. We're going to be on America's Got Talent and we're about to head out on festival season and we're surrounded by the best music community in the world. Just we're very, we're very blessed. And yeah, yeah those, are, those are really cool things. I mean, thank God that music video got, got some love because we did fly to Romania. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah you definitely that one deserved some recognition and it was just so awesome like it that song was already great but then the video just made it like wow even better um oh. it's good for you guys right now which i cannot say this more you guys deserve it like beyond measure oh, thank you we can't manifest america's got talent because it's already happening but if there was something that you guys wanted to add to the rec laws top of the list manifestation what's it going to be i mean i i'm i'm a little bit upset because um for the last i want to say six years we've been manifesting post malone making a country record and only talking about that when people are like who do you want to collab with and now he's putting out with everyone i'm like that should be us you're like this was our <laughs> idea <laughs> yeah that's my next manifestation manifestation every song he's done so far in country i'm like I'm in, I'm sold. He's doing everything right. It's on the right track. He's bringing it into another new fun direction. And that's something like that. Not necessarily him. I'd love it for it to be him, but someone cool like that to work with in the future. That's mine. Hey, we're going to pull a Travis Kels here and just like speak it into existence. And exactly. you never know. Yeah. We want you. Like, <laughs> I, I like, I am here for that. Well, I'm definitely going to uh, put that out in, the good vibes in the world for you guys hopefully i mean if he comes to canada he can't not reach out to you guys yeah so sick. So sick. <laughs> all right i love you guys so much jenna Stu, the rec laws you can catch them on america's got talent season 19 tonight